Hello, good evening, everybody. Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, guys, how are you? Fine. And you? Uh, I'm okay, everything's good so far, I think. Um, so, and what about you? How is your Friday going? Everything good? Very good, very good, very good. <laughs> okay, nice, nice. Yeah. This fruit the rain. Uh, the rain. Oh, is it rain yeah. in your house? Uh, yes, a oh, little. A little. Uh huh. Yes, I guess there is a change in the weather, but nice. That's super good to hear. Um. So everybody, hello. It's such a pleasure to have you today. Ada, hello. Good evening. Nice to have you. Doris, hello. Good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. Nice. Super good to hear. Sandra. Hey, Sandra, you're back. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Sandrita. Sandra is not here, I think. Sandra, Sandra, Sandra. No, she's not here. Vero, hello, Vero. Uh, hi, Guillermo. Good evening. Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, good evening. Hello, how are you? Everything good? I'm fine. Yes. Okay, nice, nice. Okay. Uh, that was Jennifer's voice, right? Lo escuché como Veronica. Uh, I don't no, know. I am. I yeah, am here. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, for some reason, de repente, el, el, las voces se me confundieron, and I was like, is that Veronica? <laughs> All right. So, thank you so much, everybody, for connecting, okay, on, on a Friday night. The, the this is the last day of classes that we're having for this week okay um and uh, we are teacher, going to... buenas noches teacher milagro hello también tam, también estoy aquí por, por si no me había mirado no no mis mi también estoy está aquí pequeña my screen is super okay. small y, ajá y se me quedan las, las pictures es so que ayer you... ayer saludó a todos menos a mí ahora otra vez entonces no. por eso yo la saludo I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Yeah, you know, you know. I, I y, no, y no es que sea resentida, ¿verdad? No hay que ver, pero... Entonces los reclamos a reproche. ¿verdad? No, yes. No. Ah, oh, thank you. No, no. Th thank you, Milagro. No, I'm so sorry. I mean, es que ella, ella a mí no me mira, entonces por eso te que yo... No, estoy, no. You know that I'm here for you. You know that okay. aquí estoy cuando necesite, you know. 
No, thank you so much. And I'm, I'm really sorry. Yo creo que, que por la, la pantalla de repente se me, se me pierden algunos. But, but, but thank you. Thank you. Y gracias por, por hacerlo notar. All right. Thank you so much. And I'm sorry, Milagro. All right. So I also see that Silvia is connecting. So hello, Silvia. Good evening. I hope you're doing fine. So everybody, thank you for your punctuality. Thank you for being here on time. Uh, we are going to be working a little bit still with unit number one. Um, so we are going to check some simple present. Let me just um, take a look at my screen really quick. Uh, Se recuerdan que vimos ayer. Do you remember what we checked yesterday? What do you remember from yesterday's class? Much and many. Okay. How much, much, how many. How much, how many. Uh-huh. Yes. What else? ¿Qué más se recuerdan? What else do you remember? Freak. Yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. For example, what frequency words do you remember from yesterday? Often, always. always. Sin revisar el cuaderno, right? <laughs> Never, <laughs> sometimes. Uh huh. Yes. Never. Uh huh. Almost always. Almost always. Yes. 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 Uh huh. Very good. Very good. Everybody, you got it. You got it. ¿Qué más se recuerdan? What else do you remember from yesterday? So, revisamos like how much, how many, revisamos how también son una breve introduction of frequency word que les vamos re a revisar ahora, right? We are going to be checking them uh, today, so we are going to practice them today. Let me just share this with you. Ven mi pantalla, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, thank you, thank you. So let's take a look. Uh, well, uh, today is session number four. And today is Friday, September the 25th. So yes, no fue también este mes. The month is almost over, you know, and almost the Christmas. <laughs> it's almost December here. So let's try to make the most that we can of today's class. Uh, the agenda that we got is just like to work with the uh, warm up to talk about simple person statements, obviamente con frequency adverbs. Como siempre tenemos a speaking practice and then we have like a wrap up. Yesterday, veíamos un poquito de vocabulary review y revisamos like some percentages que asociamos con frecuencia. So we associate things with frequency. Like we said always, it's 100%. So this means siempre, almost always, like a 90%, que es como un casi siempre. Uh, all, also often, like a 70%. So, if you pay attention, va como disminuyendo en qué tan, qué, qué tan frecuente hacemos algo, right? Eh, then we have sometimes. So, sí lo hago, pero no muy a menudo. Sometimes, rarely, and seldom. So, repitamos, eh, just let's repeat them, please. Always. 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 Almost always. Almost always. Often. 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 Y dijimos que hay una segunda pronunciación. Often. Often. Yes, exactly. Sometimes. 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 Yes. Rarely. 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 Seldom. Seldom. Yes, very good. So, and we said something interesting que era sobre rarely and seldom. If you remember, we said that eran como sinónimos, right? They are synonyms, they mean exactly the same. Y lo uso de la misma forma, like in the same way. Uh, next one, let's repeat. Hardly ever. Hardly, Hardly ever. ever. And the next one is never. 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 Or never. <laughs> I heard some people saying never. Ne never, yeah. I mean, it's never, exactly. And here, the percentage, solamente es para darle como un indicativo, right? If I say never, 0%, es que yo nunca lo hago. I never do it, all right? So I never do this activity. Okay. Now, this is like your vocabulary review, okay? 
I have here the beginning of a question. So I want you to help me con el resto de ella. Vamos a hacer oraciones with this beginning. So pensamos en algo que podemos completar. All right. Remember that how often is para hablar de la frequency. How frequent, how often you do one activity. So I of, how often do you take, pero que puedo tomar. Hay muchas cosas, you know. There are so many things that you can take. You can take a nap. ¿Qué tan a menudo tomo una siesta? How often do you take a taxi? How often do you take an Uber? Yeah. How often do you take some pills? Okay, like acetaminophen, paracetamol, and all those pills. How often do you take? Yeah, so let's complete that one. Next one says, how often do you brush? You can brush your hair. You can brush your teeth. Yeah, how often do you brush? How often do you check? But it's up to you to complete this part. How often do you drink? Do you drink water, soda, horchata, tea, lemonade, um, soda, etc.? And how often do you eat? How often do you eat a sandwich? Yeah. How often do you eat um, pizza? Or how often do you eat... Um, pupusas. Aha, uh -huh, pupusas, that is the most common, right? But yesterday, Jennifer, I believe, said she doesn't like pupusas. Like pupusas. Yeah, I remember because I, I I I was in shock. I said, "Oh my God!" She <laughs> broke my heart. It's like, how can you not like pupusas? No, I'm just kidding, Jennifer. Yeah, exactly. So, how often do you eat? I will give you some minutes. Try to complete them. Okay, complete them, and use more vocabulary. Always push yourself to get more vocabulary. Siempre presionense por no usar lo mismo, right? Sino por um, usar nuevo vocabulario. New words, new expressions. So, con take, hay muchas cosas que podemos usar con take, no solamente take a shower, okay? So, I will give you some minutes. Tomen nota, take notes. And if you have any question, all right? O si se traban por ahí, let me know, please. Let me know so I can check. Five minutes. Eh, me confirman si tienen eh, la captura o si le van a tomar captura, please, para eh, revisar asistencia. I'm gonna like check your, your attendance. Let me know si necesitan tomar captura. Let me know, please. Ya le tomamos captura, teacher. Thank you. Creo que alguien me acaba de entrar. No sé si ella también ya tiene like. Lo que vamos a hacer, guys, if you have questions, please ask, let me know. Um, uh, déjeme ver, let me just take a look. Me aparecen algunos nombres cortados. Eh, chicos, le, les voy a modificar el nombre o para que nos quede como parte del registro. Eh, let me just take a look. Milagro, eh, su primer nombre es María, ¿verdad? Fíjese de que yo ayer lo, lo, lo cambié y lo puse completo. Y ahora que abrí, vi que decía siempre Milagro de Rosales. No sé por qué, teacher. Y se lo guarde. Quizás, quizás lo tiene como auto guardado. Pero si, no si mejor que me lo puede cambiar usted. Ahorita por... se lo cambio, no se preocupe. Mar María Milagro de Rosales. María Milagro Hidalgo de Rosales. Ahorita, no worries. De Rosales. Uh -huh. um, igual el compañero de, de ayer, ¿verdad? Si ustedes lo quieren eh, modificar, el compañero mencionó que lo podemos hacer desde su pantallita cuando usted entra, le damos a los puntitos, le dan renombrar o cambiar el nombre y usted ahí hace la modificación normal. Uh -huh. Aparece como renombrar algunas veces, um, depende cómo lo tenga, español o inglés, ¿verdad? Eh, Ada, eh, ¿cuál es su nombre completo? Ada, please. Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Azucena. Eh, Azucena with S or with Z. Z. Ah, Z. Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Thank you. Ajá. Mendoza. 
see things here. Let me just take a look. Who oh, I can ask? Guillermo? Hi, Guillermo. Can I have your full name, please? Okay. In just a moment. Thank you. Oh, oh, me ayuda. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. So I, got, I see 15 people. So, okay. Let me uh, take my screen. Okay. Let me take my screen out. And let me just go over the attendance super, super quick. I will read your name. And uh, please tell me present when I read your name. All right, so let me go over your names. Uh, Fatima, Fatima is por ahí. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you, Fatima. Uh, Ada, yes, right? I saw you some seconds ago. Present. Thank you, Guillermo. Same. Thank you, Guillermo. Uh, Isaac. Isaac, not yet. Uh, Christian? Sam. Hello, Christian. Good evening. Hi, good evening, teacher. Nice to have you today, uh, Christian. Um, let me just take a look. Luz. Luz, are you here? Buenas noches, teacher. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Nice, nice to hear that. Um, let me see. I got Sandra Patricia. Do we have Sandra Patricia? Venga Sandra por ahí. Sandra? No, I, I don't see Sandra. Okay, it's maybe not yet. Um, I got Sandra. Uh, Edith? Edith, is she here? Not yet. Silvia Hiro? Silvia, yes, right? Present. Thank you, Silvia. Francisco Eduardo? Francisco, are you here? Hola, hola. Hello, good evening. Hi, Francisco. Hello. Thank you for joining. Uh, Sandrita, Sandra Beatriz? Present teacher. Hello, Miss. Thank you. I'm so happy to hear you. I got Herson. Is Herson here? Present. Hey, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Nice to have you. Uh, Madeline, are you here, Madeline? <laughs> Maybe she's not. Uh, Veronica? I think I saw Veronica. Vero? Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Veronica. So I lost you. All right. Thank you. Doris? Present. Thank you. Uh, okay. Let me just take a look. Maria? Milagro? Present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer? Present teacher. Thank you. Andres? Present teacher. Yeah, thank you. 
Um, okay, I got this one right here. Okay, thank you. Thank you, guys. I I'm going to like be checking on the others who are missing. I'm so happy to, to see you all today. And we were working on this exercise. Okay, that was the how often. So how often do you? And we had to complete it. So vamos a agregar como más acciones, más activities, right? To complete this and to answer them. So how often do you take? How, for example, I don't take pills. So you can ask, how often do you take pills? Like pastillas, right? How often do you take pills? How often do you take a nap? How often do you take um, a ferry? Okay, so think about other activities. Necesita más tiempo? Do you need more minutes? Or are you ready and we can start? If you need more time, uh, let me know, please. Chicos, denme, denme verbal confirmation because I see your faces, but, but you know, la distancia lo hace un poco más difícil. So tell me one minute, uh, I need more time, or I'm super ready. Okay, so tell me, tell me what's going on. ¿Todos están listos? Is everybody no. ready? Yo no, creo que Please. Oh, okay, okay, sure, no problem. Take, take your time, take your time. Thank you, exactly, guys. That's the idea. So give me like verbal confirmation. Yes, yeah, see, like I am, I, I know what's going on. So I'll give you like some more time, okay, so you can complete it. Okay, everybody, so I believe everybody's ready, yeah? Are we good? Yeah, teacher. Ready? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay, super, super. So let's get it started. Um, so 
I'm going to make some groups, right? So you can go ahead and you can interview your classmate. And remember, my question is how often? So que estoy preguntando que tan a menudo, con que frecuencia. How can I answer these questions? I am going to answer with something like this. Oh, always, almost always, often, sometimes, uh, rarely, <laughs> or never. Okay, so you can use the frequency adverb para indicar frecuencia, like how often you do one activity. For example, la que veíamos, how often do you take? Alguien tiene un ejemplo. Do you have an example with this? How often do you take? Yeah. Uh, I, Andres, can you repeat? Yes. A ride. Uh, I always have uh, coffee. I always take a coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I always okay. take a coffee. Okay. How often? Uh, uh, ayúdeme con la pregunta. Help me with the question. Yeah, like how often do you take a coffee? The answer no, the question, the question. The question. Help me with the question. Yes, please. How often do you take a coffee? Okay, okay, that's okay. So, how often do you take a coffee? Um, all right. Alguien más tiene algo diferente con take? How often do you take a coffee? Like a coffee? How often do you take a shower? How often do you take a shower? <laughs> how, you, how often do you take a bus? How often do you take a bus? Yes. For Luz, right? Or Ada? You. Luz, okay. I'm recognizing the voices, porque a veces no me sale acá en Zoom. ¿Quién me, quién me habla? So I'm like, okay. <laughs> so that was Luz. Eh, creo que escuché a, a Doris. I think I heard Doris. Yes. <laughs> Tell me, Doris. How often do you take a relaxing message? Oh, very nice question. How often do you take a relaxing, you know? Like a massage <laughs> with, with a Tones, okay. So, or how often do you take, I don't know, a massage at the spa or something like that? Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, what else? How often do you take? A breakfast. How often do you take a breakfast? Okay, okay. So look at... Uh, milk. Okay, how often do you take milk? So look at... Con, con milk. Sería más como drink. How often do you drink milk, I believe? Uh, how often do you take money? Como que tan a menudo toma dinero de alguien. How often do you take... Okay, that can work. That can work. How often do you take... Que tan a menudo toma algo que no es suyo. <laughs> how often do you take something like a pencil? <laughs> a pen, you know? <laughs> okay, so that can work. So give me one second <laughs> here. I'm ah, going pues no, to no aplica. <laughs> yeah, es que, how often do you take money? Suena como cuan, a menudo, que tan a menudo, toma dinero. So that's like, dinero que no es suyo. So, I mean, that's the uh, idea that I get. Uh -huh. So maybe how often yeah. do you take, like, maybe something different. <laughs> no money. Yeah. No worries. Sí, yo, lo relacionado, yo lo había relacionado con el que tan a menudo agarre el dinero así como las, las monedas para, para pagar el pasaje, por ejemplo. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, ok. How often do you take money? How often do you take money? How oh, often uh, do you take... Coin, coin of yes. change. Mm -hmm. How often Obey do you take... Mm -hmm. the yeah, maybe, that, the maybe that one. Maybe that one. How often do you take the change to pay the bus? Uh -huh. Or uh -huh. how often yes. do you take money to pay the bus? That's much better, uh -huh. porque estamos siendo bien específicos. Uh -huh. Yes, no se, mal, mm, se da malentendido, right? Yeah, uh -huh. super good, super good. Okay, okay, everybody, I'm going to invite you to some sessions. Practice, okay, practice as much as you can. And uh, I'm going to be like around. If you have questions, please feel free to, to let me know. So let's go ahead now. Let's go ahead, everybody. Let's start joining, joining.
Hello. Hola. Hola. Madeline, hello. Hello, hello. Uh, what happened? No me aparece fuera del grupo. Uh, oh, que se me hizo. Where is she? Often, vamos a preguntarnos este. Yo le pregunto, por ejemplo, a, a usted, doña Luz. Sería, how often do you have hip, hip, hip Hello. Hi, hi, girls. Oh, solo chicas mandé acá. Ay, there are only girls here. Okay, it's okay, it's good. Madeline, so happy to see you. Eh, Madeline se me perdió, de repente la escuché y, y después ya no estaba. Sí, But, pasó, como que me cambié de sala, pero ya volví. Uh, oh, ok, qué raro. It's super weird. Ok, ok, but we are good. So, it's ok, it's ok. So, let's start practicing. Eh, girls, ¿había alguien más acá? Veo que sí, hay solo sí, cuatro. Sí. ¿Quién más estaba? Silvia, uh, Verónica. Ah, no, Verónica. no, Verónica, Madeline. ¿Quién era la otra que estaba? Otra sí, señora. Era. San, ¿ah? Silvia. Ah, Silvia. sí, se me acaba de desconectar. Vaya, it's okay, it's okay. So we can practice. Eh, that... Teacher, mm -hmm. ¿cómo yes. se pronuncia dolor de cabeza? Headache. Headache. Yeah, headache. How often do you have a headache? Headache. Mm -hmm. Headache. Headache. Yes, headache. Siempre tendrían que ser con las mismas. Nada, eh, Luz. Hola. How often do you share Facebook? Often me dice. How often do you check Facebook? Um, I, 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 I often. Um, Ra, com, espéreme, espéreme. I, I, I often uh, check Facebook uh, dia, dia, diariamente se escribe diario dia, diari. you can diari. say daily or you can say every day daily, mm -hmm. daily. or every day eh, rarely Puedo decir I often o solamente I check Facebook I check Facebook rarely, no. Es que, es que often se queja a menudo, ¿verdad? Y rarely es raramente. Mi pregunta es, teacher, al responder, uh -huh. ¿es correcto decir I often o solo puedo decir I check Facebook? Mm, lo que sucede es que si me quiere dar como la frecuencia, nosotros decimos, eh, usted me puede decir solo often y yo ya comprendí, I got it. Ajá, o lo puede decir de forma completa. Pero si se recuerda, revisamos ayer, we were checking yesterday, que si yo digo, por ejemplo, I check Facebook, ok, y quiero decir que tan a menudo yo lo hago, entonces ese va en este espacio. Por ejemplo, I often check Facebook, ya. Yeah. So, hay como dos formas de hacerlo, la cortita, la larga. I often check Facebook, ya. Yeah. Hasta ahí está bien. Hola, hacen cortita. Eh, so, Madeline, how often do you check Facebook? Very often. Y está ahí. And that's the answer. Y ya lo entendimos. Uh -huh. So, hay dos formas, right? There are two ways. Of course, siempre es mejor hacerla de forma larga. I often. I always. I never. But remember, esta es la posición en la que se ocupan I. Y luego, ¿cuál es la frecuencia? Right? So, eh, ya hay como una, un orden específico. Uh -huh. En este caso, la respuesta often sería a menudo. Yes, often es a menudo. Often shake Facebook. Okay. Pero digamos que si yo quiero decir todos los días, puedo decir I shake Facebook every day. Of course, of course, yes. You can tell me, eh, bien específico, I check eh, Facebook two times a day, two times a week, lo que revisábamos anteriormente. Acá lo estamos como ya combinando todo. I check Facebook all day. 
or maybe once a day, once a month, once a year. So, yes, sí se pueden okay. combinar, no problem. Mm -hmm. Teacher, one time in, in the, a day or in day. Eh, once, es mejor cuando utilizamos once. Once. Okay. Once. If, let, let, me, let me share, yeah. So you can use... Mm, mm, mm. Okay. For example, pero como estamos hablando de frecuencia, entonces ya pasamos, we change, ya no es I often, porque quiero ser como más específica, so I, ch I, say, I check Facebook, once, una vez, once, once. a day, uh -huh. I check Facebook once a day. Contestale vos, Sara, si no sé qué quiere. Hello. Dice, Hi, Francisco. Once, ¿Qué significa? I did it once. One time. Once. Once. No, no, no. Once. Once, once a yes. day is one time. Una vez. Yes. No. Mm. Well, Verónica, how often do you drink beer? Veronica, you're mute. <laughs> you're mute. I often I drink never. <laughs> oh, she said often. <laughs> Lo pensó mucho. <laughs> she was thinking too much. <laughs> ah, it's okay. You're fine, Veronica. Uh -huh. So yeah, exactly. You can say I always, I, I never, I often. Uh -huh. So I mean, it, it's okay. It's fine. You can. Sí, yes. Perdón. En los, en los renclones que están en blanco o las respuestas que nosotros podíamos a dar, tal vez usted las escribiera porque a mí sí me está costando muchísimo. ¿En qué parte, Miss? Porque, eh, porque este es el primero de eh, exercise que estamos haciendo ahorita es como libre. So, usted puede tener una, ajá, usted puede tener como... Lo puede rellenar, let's say. Lo puede rellenar con cualquier cosa, ajá, con cualquier eh, elemento eh, para hacer preguntas. For example, how often do you take? Es como que tan a menudo toma, pero usted puede rellenarlo con cualquier otro elemento. How often do you take the bus? How often do you take a taxi? Oh, perdón que le interrumpa, o luz, o se refiere a cómo hacer la estructura. Ejemplo, ah, aquí, se refiere a los ejercicios. Correcto, teacher. A los ah, ejercicios. ok. Por ejemplo, en esas líneas en blanco, que usted nos permita que usted lo llenara, ¿verdad? Para que nosotros verifiquemos que la escritura que tengamos, eh, lo tengamos bien, porque, por ejemplo, mi laptop no escucho bien cuando ustedes pronuncian. Ay, ahí llegó, papi. Cuesta. Okay. Ah, okay, I got ya. Okay, no problem, no problem. We can we can definitely work on that. Yeah, so para los ejercicios de gramática, se los voy a compartir en el chat. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Gracias, so we're good, dicho. we're good. No problem. Gracias. Okay. Gracias. Um, Edith, thank you very much for joining. <laughs> I'm sorry for estar ahí pushing me. <laughs> y gracias. Thank Perdón, you so, pero so estoy much. No, nosotros estoy sabemos. Mal de la garganta. Ay, por eso sí, no la vi ayer. Conectado. La vi ayer un poquito mal y le agradezco enormemente que, que nos esté apoyando with, with your attendance. Si se siente mal en algún momento, like, puede escucharnos. You can listen to us, okay? No, okay. no worries. Thank you. Okay. I don't like it. Get, get a get up in, in, in vacation. How oh. so many people in the, oh, in the yeah. street? That's not, I don't like. Yeah, really, really. I, I don't like uh, in vacation. You visit uh, the beach or uh, only much people. I prefer in the mountain. Uh, Really? Mountain, um, yeah. the, the west of yeah. the, the country. 
Yo adi my cluster Guillermo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. I like we said montaña. I say I'm saying my invite. Yeah. But I I wait. Está bien. Mínimo. Me gusta salir en vacaciones mucha gente en la calle. Prefiero quedarme en casa salir solo fin de semana y prefiero salir el trip de Santana, San Sonate, a Guachapán y Voy a en por otro tema, aunque sea solo para quemar gasolina. <risa> nice. That's um, finals, the NBA. How often, uh, how often go to exercise? Of Side on other. Oh, never. Never. <laughs> 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 I imagine. You, you I imagine. Only with your mouth. <laughs> because I heard that I was like, "Ooh." <laughs> only, only with your with your mouth. <laughs> Only with food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, what about you guys? How often do you exercise? No, only watching. <laughs> <laughs> only watching. What? <laughs> uh, Guillermo, I'm, ti I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired of watching. You're tired of Play. watching. Imagine. <laughs> Guillermo, what about you? Uh, so, uh, only is practice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you practice, do you practice sports? Yeah, yeah. Okay, what do you play? Uh, ahorita ni, ni palito, como dice. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I, mean, oh, I, I, don't, I don't have time. Oh, I understand, uh, I understand. See, I, I don't have, I don't have the time. Uh, I'm beginning in this in this year because mm -hmm. because everything uh -huh, yeah, because everything that has happened i imagine i don't, uh -huh, I don't care mm -hmm. you don't have the time that. i understand fatima sandra no yeah i remember sandra does exercise <laughs> yes right sandra yes always do you do you still go to the gym yes <laughs> nice, uh, nice. Yeah. So Sandra always does exercise. Fatima, what about you? I sometimes. You sometimes do exercise. Mm. Oh, but you do. Yes. Do you walk? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that's super uh, good. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, in my case, I do exercise not often, but Sometimes, let's say. So I go walking also. I like walking, yeah. But not very often. <laughs> so we don't have Me time. Too. I like walking. Yeah, I really like walking. Okay, okay, guys. So I. I the only exercise is it. <laughs> right now, yeah. So sad for us. <laughs> okay, okay, everybody. <laughs> And yeah. <laughs> Only antiguo. Very healthy. Super healthy. <laughs> okay. okay. I need pupusas. Yeah, for living. Okay, everybody. Let's yeah, we... <laughs> we are going to the other meeting. Okay, let's join the other meeting. Hello, Madeline. Hello, Sandra. <laughs> Ahí está Guillermo también. Ayrton y Silvia. 
Hello. ¿Qué dice Hello. Sandra? <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Vamos a esperar unos segunditos mientras regresan todos. I'm missing a lot of guys. Isa, good evening. Sí. Thank you. Teacher, uh, uh, we have a question to you. Oh, what type of question do you have? <laughs> I get worried. No, what? <laughs> Tell me, what's the question? It, 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 uh, we have a, a one question: Is how often do you brush your teeth? Oh, that's teeth. a uh, that's a, a it, difficult question. <laughs> it, <laughs> no, it, the problem is. Uh, usar los adverbios o podemos utilizar en este caso. I brush my teeth three times a day. Oh, okay. Eh, both, actually. Usted puede utilizar ya sea uno o el otro. Todo, todo depende de qué tan específico quiera ser, right? For example, si usted me pregunta, how often do you brush your teeth? Yo puedo generalizar y yo solamente hablando de frecuencia, I can tell you always. Pero always es bien general, right? I mean, no me dice nada más que siempre. Yeah, but siempre es que. <laughs> so, if I want, if I want to share details, entonces es cuando yo digo, oh, I brush my teeth two times, three times, four times. Ah, okay. Uh, every meal, yeah? So, it's like more specific. Mm -hmm. So, that is, that is ah, the, okay. the way we use them, yeah? So, this is why. Okay. Uh, any other question? Do you have another question for me? Or or that was the, that was the only question, Herson? It's it's only for us it's only only one question. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Oh, it's all very right. clear your your answer. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm happy about it. Okay, guys, so let's comparto mi pantalla. Let me share my screen one more time. Um, mm -mm. Okay, so we were in this part. Hold on. Okay, so we were talking about this how often thing, okay? How often do you take? So, it, who has, let me see. No he escuchado algunos. I haven't heard some people. For example, Fatima, no la he escuchado. I haven't heard of you today. Fatima, how often do you take? Completeme, ¿qué tiene para esto? What do you have? How do you complete it? How often do you take vitamin C? Ah, very good question. Okay. How often do you take vitamin C? Um, ¿Qué respuestas obtuvo? What answers did you get? <coughs> Uh, sometimes. Sometimes, okay. Okay, okay. Guys, yeah. how often do you take vitamin C? Especially now con el coronavirus, right? With the coronavirus. How often do you take vitamin C? Uh, let me start with the doctor. Uh, how often do you take vitamin C? Ada? Ada. I think I saw Ada. I keep oh. Oh, oh, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, yeah no. there you I are. Promise. Oh, okay, okay. So, Fatima, can you repeat your question, please? How often do you take vitamin C? Vitamin, vitamin. Vitamina C. Vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C. Okay, okay. How often uh -huh. do you take vitamin C? Only one. Uh, but only one, like once a day, every day. Every day, only oh. one. Every day. Ah, okay. Only one every day. Okay. Thank you. Guys, what about the others? How often do you take vitamin C? Vitamin C. 
Um, if you are having issues with the with the internet, let me write it. Vitamin uh, C. How often do you take vitamin C? What about the other guys? How often do you take vitamin C? Alguien está tomando vitamina C. Are you taking vitamin C? No. I take vitamin C days. Okay. I and take um, vitamin D and zinc. Ah, vitamin D and zinc. Okay, okay. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay. What about check? How often do you check? So what do you have in this one? Madeline, what do you have in this? How often do you check? How often do you check Facebook? Okay, how often do you check Facebook? Luz, how often do you check Facebook? <laughs> Always. <laughs> oh, Luz, you are, you are in mute. You are in mute. I often. Ah, okay. So you often check Facebook. All right. Yeah, like we all the time do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Drink. ¿Quién tiene algo para drink? How often do you drink? Milk. Milk. Okay. What do you have in that one? How often do you drink? A glass of water. A glass of water. Okay. Milk. Uh, anything else? Get the más tienen con drink. Okay. Wine. 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 Okay. How carao. Excuse me. Refresh. Cara. Ah, carao. <laughs> okay. No, I, I don't... Soda, uh -huh. no, but carao, soda. I don't like it, but it's good. Man. Okay, soda, okay, carao, drink, maybe. Uh, thank you, thank you, Edith, for your answers. Okay. I, I'm reading them. What about eating? How often do you eat? ¿Quién tiene algo raro acá? How often do you eat? How do you eat banana? How often do you eat bananas? Okay, thank you. Yo tengo Chinese food. Yes, Silvia. Okay, Chinese food. Okay. Oh, I do eat seafood. Seafood. Okay. Iguana. All right. Yeah. Okay. How often do you eat iguana, Silvia? I, I think I I listened to you before. How often do you eat? How often do you eat uh, whiskey failing? Whiskey. <laughs> Can you repeat? Can you repeat the last part? How often? How do often do you eat whiskey failing? Whiskey. Ah, okay, okay. Whiskey. Um, yeah. Um, whiskey filling. That it's not very common. I. Oh yeah, right. It is. In English, hay palabras que no tienen traducción. You know, whiskey is a difficult word because it's Latin American. So, eh, una palabra que podamos usar para whisky is chayore. <laughs> Super weird. Yes. So, how often do you eat chayore uh, filling? Uh -huh. It's super weird. I know, I know. Uh, it's bien rara, like chayore. Fantastic. Uh -huh. This is not a chayore. But we write it like this. Oh, well, hold on. Chayore. Teacher. Yes. Filling. Como un relleno. Silvia is asking about rellenos de whiskey. Chayore filling. Chayore filling. Yes, Milagro, tell me. Uh, how often do you eat leg soap? What? Leg? Leg. leg, leg do you soap. mean like sopa de pata or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never. I don't like it. Mondongo soup. <laughs> no, I don't like it. Do you like mondongo soup, guys? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I like, no, like it. Like it. Like it. Pataste. Guillermo, what is pataste? It's with killing Honduras. <laughs> ah, okay. 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 I didn't know. Thank you. Thank you for the cultural um, capsule. I didn't know. That's new for me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Teacher, pero ellos dijeron montongo soup. Yeah, y el, el traductor dice que es tripa, sopa de tripas. I mean, it's like, son como intestinos, right? So they are intestines. Uh, yeah, but okay, I personally I like, I like 
You like it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What about uh, sopa de mora? What about like mora soup? No hay traducción because they are Latin Latin American words. So what about? <laughs> uh, ¿Y si fuera, y si fuera mariscada? <laughs> you can say seafood. Uh, seafood it, soup. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Seafood. Uh -huh, like a, a little soup. Edith says, I like soup de patas. No, Edith. <laughs> so that is kind of the leg. Uh -huh. I don't know even how to call it. Le voy a investigar because I don't think there is a, a word to say that. <laughs> That's so crazy. Okay. Soup de patas. Like patas. No, that, that's definitely a new one for me. Okay. Okay. So, uh, how many people that did you find? ¿Cuántos encontraron? How many people did you find that eat a... Preguntaron de mondongo. Like mondongo soup? No. Person, esa era su pregunta. Was that your question here? What? Uh, what is your question with how often do you eat? Uh, how do you, how often do you eat uh, pizza? Ah, pizza. <laughs> it was no mondongo soup. Okay. Okay. No, no mondongo it. soup. No. Uh -huh. No problem. Is Okay. No, I mean, it's super good. Okay. Okay, everybody. So let me share. Let me, let's just continue. And we are going to practice a little bit uh, the negative aspect as well. Okay. So in your material, in your book, this is page number 1818, all right? And this one is like a little bit of grammar explanation. It's a simple present for third person, singular in plural, but this is negative. So, uh, of course, necesitamos entrevistar a algunos compañeros to get some answers, but revisemos como la parte de estructura, right? Simple negative, uh, present negative statements. For example, here we have some examples. Uh, give me a second. Let me read this. Okay. For example, we have here, she does not work on weekends. Okay. They don't have much time. So we have examples of negative sentences. All right. For example, if I tell you, I don't like, um, what, what word do you say? Okay, chayore, for example, Silvia's question, chayore's feelings. So, for some reason, no me gustan los rellenos. So, y menos de whisky, right? So, if you want to say that about me, ¿cómo dirían a ella no le gustan los, los rellenos? How can you say that? She don't like chayore. She doesn't like. Oh, she doesn't, she doesn't like, like. exactly. Chayota feeling. Exactly, Chayota exactly, very good. So she doesn't like Chayote feeling. But imagine that is uh, like me, Herson, uh, Milagro, all right? So not, not only me, but we three, no nos gusta. How can we say that? We, she don't like Chayote's uh, feeling. Como serían, like, eh, me, Herson, and they, Milagro. They? They do. They, they don't. don't. They don't? They don't. They don't like a like chayote, a chayote feeling. feeling. Exactly. Feeling. So they don't like chayote feeling. Exactly. So those are part of the things, okay, que vamos a trabajar con negative sentences. If you help me, please read the examples that we have. Volunteers, alguien me ayuda a leer los ejemplos. Can you please me. help me read? Thank you. Thank you very much. Maria doesn't work at doesn't, a... No. Does. Mm -hmm. does. Does not work at HPBC. Okay, thank you. Marcos does, does not stay late at work. All right, thank Juan you. and Pedro do don't write reports. Mm -hmm. Okay. We do. We don't mm -hmm. say letters. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Very good. Very good. Um, remember that esta es la forma larga. This is the long way. So I can say Maria does not. But this is not very common in USA. Lo más común es hacer la contracción como lo hizo. Eh, oh my goodness. Better, better right? 
Who, who was talking? Jennifer. Jennifer. Sorry, Jennifer. I'm, I'm still, I don't know why. I'm still confusing your voices. Thank you, Jennifer. So, eh, como lo hizo Jennifer. So, en vez de decir, that's not, hacemos la unión, and we say, Maria doesn't, right? Marcos does not, Marcos doesn't. Juan and Pedro do not, Juan and Pedro don't. We do not, we don't. So, that's super good. No le estamos cambiando significado. We are doing, we are saying the same, solo haciendo lo más cortito, right? Now, what we are going to do is the following. I want you to make a list, personalmente, I want you guys to make a list de algunas cosas que no les gustan, something that you don't like, algo, um, o algo que sea como negativo. I don't work, I don't wake up early, cosas negativas, I mean, no cosas negativas, oraciones negativas, all right? Personal negative statements, all right, about you. Todas con I, please, I. So I don't, I don't wake up early. I don't stay late at work. I don't eat pizza. I don't um, watch TV. I don't play video games. Okay, so like negative sentences, please. I will give you three minutes. Todas las que puedan en tres minutos. Everything you can write in three minutes. Chicos, gracias por conectarse. Veo que casi, casi tenemos a todos. Eh, thank you so, so much that you are here. Su asistencia es súper importante para nosotros. Believe me, like, we really want you to, to get there. Y, y es su asistencia y la participación lo que nos va a ayudar a, a que ustedes alcancen el objetivo de, de, de ser bilingües, you know, y en un tiempo record, ok, que son 18 módulos. Así que eh, muchísimas gracias, gracias por, por estar acá enfrente de la, de la cámara, you know. Um, yo sé que a veces es viernes y ya queremos dormir, but thank you so much. Eh, solo les voy a pasar asistencia really quick. Algunos que me hacían falta, eh, me ayudan con la camarita, porfa. Eh, mm -mm. Les voy a dejar de compartir mi pantalla un segundo. Lo tienen en la página 18. So pueden descargar el material, right? Para que siempre tengan ahí el recurso. So give me just a second. Okay, let me just take a look. I got Isaac. Isaac, creo que lo vi por ahí. But I'm not sure. Present. Hello, yes. Thank you so much. Gracias por, por unirse. Um, Isaac, um, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Perez. Present, teacher. Thank you so much, miss. Thank you so, so much. Uh, uh, Sandra, Patricia, I think she's not here yet. Edith. Creo que la vimos por ahí, right? Some seconds ago. Present. Thank you. Thank you so much, Edith. I really appreciate it. Uh, Madeline? Present. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so let me share my screen one more time. I will give you one more minute, okay? Todas las que podamos, everything you can, everything you can. Like negative statements, negative Hola. sentences. One more minute, guys. Yes? Me mencionó a mí en, en, en la lista porque no la escuché. Habla uh, Vero. Vero. Eh, mm, mm, Creo que le tomé de la anterior, fíjese, solo que la vi conectada, creo pero sí. creo que estaba, yes, exactly, pero uh -huh. creo que estaba muteado su, su micrófono. Solo déjeme, ahorita le... Sí, eh, déjeme un segundito, solamente le confirmo, pero I remember I did. Recuerdo que sí, mis. Déjeme a second.
Pero, 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 pero. Yes, Verónica. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I got it. Thank you. You are so... No, thank you. Thank you for being here. So, let me share my screen one more time. Yes. Now I was showing you the material. Okay. So, um, I believe time is over. ¿Cuántas tienen? How many do you have? Like, really quick. Deme un estimado. Two, three, four, five, five six. Five. Uh -huh. More? Four. Four. Okay. Seven. 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 Oh, very nice. Okay, seven. Six. Six. Okay. Okay, I, I think we got it. That's a very good number. So, si tenemos cuatro, cinco, seis, we are super good. No worries. Si tenemos más de eso, it's like super much better porque practicamos más vocabulario, right? Okay, so what we are going to do is this. We are going to get in a smaller groups, grupitos más pequeñitos, smaller groups, and vamos a compartir con los compañeros, all right? You are going to tell them negative statements about you. Por supuesto, cosas que sean reales, right? Please, everybody, listen to your classmate. Listen carefully to your classmate. Y algo bien importante, vamos a trabajar listening. So this means, si el compañero tiene dificultades técnicas en escucharle, right? Por la distancia, por el internet, etc. E, y le dice, ¿qué es eso? ¿Qué dijo? All right? No le diga en español. Don't tell them in English. Ok, say it, but say it slowly, como lo hicimos, por ejemplo, con vitamin. So, vitamin, vitamin, para que nuestro oído se vaya también acostumbrando, all right, a escuchar el sonido para luego repetirlo. So, try, try, al menos intentemos, give it a try hasta donde podamos, y si de verdad we do not get it, solo podemos poner en el chat, right, and then we repeat it, así trabajamos con listening también. So, we are going to be working Dos cosas al mismo tiempo, vocabulary, listening, y claro, la parte gramatical. So, um, for example, I can tell you some negative statements. I don't have pets. I don't have, I don't drive. Um, I don't ride a motorcycle. Um, I don't live in San Salvador. So, lo que van a hacer ustedes es escribirlo. Write them in the notebook. Ok. Pero lo van a hacer como estamos hablando de mí. Vamos a hacerlo con tercera persona. Right? So, vamos a hacerlo she, he. O si hay varios, they. Right? So, guys, please repeat. What did I say? Repítanme lo que dije. Tell me what I said. Utilizando she. She doesn't have pet. Uh huh. Yes. She doesn't drive a motorcycle. Close. <laughs> Close, but you got the idea. Yes. Very nice. Uh huh. Tell me, guys, what do you remember? What did you listen? So listening is very important. He doesn't live in San Salvador. Okay, yeah, that's true. Me falta una de la motorcycle. Who remembers? She doesn't drive. He doesn't, she doesn't? Drive. She doesn't? Don't. She doesn't drive motorcycle. Super close, mm. pero el verbo fue diferente. She doesn't? Don't like, don't like a motorcycle. Close, but still. El verbo, el verbo de motocicleta, remember, she doesn't? Motorcycle? Ride the motorcycle. Right, very good. She doesn't ride the motorcycle, exactly. So, I don't drive and I don't ride. So, vamos a escuchar al compañero and take notes. Escriban lo que vayan diciendo, right? And ask, can you repeat? Can you repeat? Can you repeat? Okay. Para que... Um, También eduquemos al oído. She doesn't, um, okay. So, okay, everybody. Ready? 
Ready, ready? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Clear? Super claro lo que vamos a hacer? Yes? No. No? Yeah. Not too much? Ok, one more time. Let me explain. Lo que vamos a hacer es, lo que usted escribió, se lo va a decir el compañero. Es slowly, claro, right? I don't do this. I don't write. I don't drive. I don't dance. Y usted lo va a ir escribiendo, pero en tercera persona. So, um, she doesn't dance. She doesn't read. She doesn't do exercise. Ok, so con terceras personas. With third person singular. Y si no le comprende algo, if you don't understand one word o algo que esté diciendo, no vamos a preguntarlo en español. ¿Qué dijo? <laughs> But we are going to try to do it in English. Can you repeat? Can you repeat? So intentemos no decirlo en español, right? Don't clarify in Spanish, please, everybody. So let's get started because practice is super important and I really Teacher, want you to question. practice. Yes, tell me. ¿Cómo se diría? ¿Cómo dijo en inglés? What did you say? I'm going to write it in the chat. Normally we say, can you repeat? And what can you repeat is good. Can, can you repeat? Can, can you, you repeat, repeat please? slowly, please? Yes. Can you repeat? Let's practice all those expressions. Can you repeat more slowly? Can you repeat more slowly, please? Or can you repeat slowly, like slowly, yeah? This one puede que suene un poco más tosco. What did you say? ¿Qué dijiste? ¿Qué dijo? What did you say? So puede ser un poco más tosco. So you can use, can you repeat more slowly, please? Can you repeat? Can you repeat that word? Yeah? Or, depends of the time. Can you it depends. Repeat? On, but what do you say? It's like, yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little bit rude because it's like, yeah, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> so it's like, no, I was paying attention. Yeah, so can you repeat this? Okay, can you repeat this? Fine, okay. So, pero se pueden utilizar las tres. You're super good on that. So, remember, practice as much as possible. I'm going to create the groups right now. Eh, son grupitos pequeñitos. They are super small groups. So you have the opportunity to practice. Let's get it started. Everybody, let's go. Let's go for the groups. Let's go for the groups. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me a second, give me a second. ¿Qué pasó? What happened? Okay, eh, deme un segundito. Deme un segundito que algo pasó. I don't know what's going on. Y se canceló. Hold on, hold on. Hold on just a quick second. Howdy. 12 seconds. Mientras tanto, podemos practicar. You can practice. <clears throat> Uh, no, Edith, no se preocupe. Lo que sucede es que se canceló la invitación for some reason. Entonces estoy esperando que me la habilite. Ok, there it is. So, mientras tanto, you can like practice. Practicar también tercera persona singular. You can practice third person singular. And uh, ahora sí. Ok, now you can go, everybody. Yes, there we go, there we go. So, they are super small groups. Practice as much as possible. Y los veo ahí un par de minutitos. I will be around. If you have questions, remember, hay un botoncito que dice pedir ayuda. So you can contact me uh, anytime.
Mascota, I don't have exercise. I don't have exercise. I don't have I don't drive car. I don't eat soup more. Can you repeat? Solamente. Ah? I don't eat Sop Mora. Okay. <laughs> I am not like uh, watch clothes. Lava ropa. Cla watch clothes. I am, uh, don't like an uh, insect. Mars is a cockroach fly. <laughs> uh, I am not like uh, exercise. Uh, I am not Wake and uh, madrugate. Uh, I love dream. <laughs> Only okay. Andres, sería. Hi, Hi. I'm, so, I'm so sorry to interrupt. Uh, just uh, por ahí les, les mandé like like uh, un mensaje privado. So maybe you can take a look. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Now, uh, just something that I'm forgetting. Okay. 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 No. If you have it ready, si ya lo tienen. If you have it. Oh wait. Hold on a second. Ay, no sé por qué se ha activado mi audio. Super weird. <laughs> Acá no hay sonido. All right. So, uh, just to, to, to make sure that we get the listening part, repitámosle al compañero, okay? So, when you finish, when you get it ready, solo repitámosle, okay? So, Fátima doesn't do this. Fátima doesn't like this para com, eh, comparar que tengamos realmente lo que ellos dijeron, right? So, we can definitely do that. I will give you some more minutes, okay? Get ready. Practice y agregamos tanto como podamos. I'll see you in some minutes. Very nice job, everybody. Okay, let's continue, let's continue. Thanks. That's a question, Vero. Yeah. Ay, pea. a mí no me gusta. Eh, dependiendo del ejemplo. En este caso, pues, uh, I don't like dream wine. Yo puse, I don't, I don't like seafood. Ajá. Uh -huh. It's correct. Repeat, milagro, please. Sí. I don't like wine. I don't like seafood. Okay. 
Okay. Y también puse I don't I don't like sleep in the day. Sleep in the day. 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 Oh, day. Day. Gracias. Hello girls, uh, that was a good description, Milagro, that was very nice. So solamente la escuché a ella, but that was good. Um, so just to make sure, para confirmar que nuestro listening is like getting better and better, solo cuando terminamos with everybody, leamos las en tercera persona, right? So we can go like, oh, Milagro doesn't do this, doesn't do that. So para decir, oh, no dije eso. <laughs> I didn't say that. So, y para que también vayamos educando al oído, right? So we can make sure. Okay. So I will give you like three more minutes. Continue practicing, please. That was very nice, Milagro. I like a very good description. So continue, guys. Thank, Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Ahora, Jennifer. Hello, why are you so quiet? <laughs> Hi girls, how are you? How are you doing? Everything good? Yes. Okay, guess what, what, why are you so quiet? It's Friday. You should be happy and talkative. <laughs> okay, no trabajan mañana. Are you working tomorrow? No. Yes, I work. No. Oh, sorry, Doris. <laughs> Luz, you are not working tomorrow. I not work. I I work. Ah, uh, sí, martes, martes. Hasta what? martes. What? Why? Are you on vacation? Una vez a la semana. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Trabaja solo un día a la semana. Lo que sucede es que la alcaldía tiene la unidad que se llama Centro de Formación Laboral, donde okay. se aprenden oficios. Ah, Entonces, ok. Entonces, se reciben alumnos, uh -huh. solamente se van a impartir cursos eh, virtual. Como el Entonces, nuestro. Nos están enseñando a que nos incorporemos poquito a poquito. Entonces... A mí me ha tocado todos los martes, otros compañeros todos los miércoles, ah, okay. otros compañeros todos los jueves, pero es por la área, pero y ahí toda la alcaldía está trabajando normal. Uh -huh. ah, pero ustedes van como solo por cosas ya administrativas, meramente papeleo y cosas así. No, solamente por hacer presente, ah, ¿verdad? Okay. <ríe> I like it. I'm like, can we change? Wow, only one day a week. Only, oh, that's how often do you work? So that's only once a week. No, but, I, but I'm super happy porque definitivamente tiene. I really ever. <laughs> I like it. You are using your vocabulary. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. No, I mean, it's very good for su seguridad, you know, and, and also because in the city hall, hay muchas personas, right? Like coming, uh, going out. So nice. That's super, super nice. Okay, girls. So try to ask questions to each other. Tomemos nota de las respuestas. Si ya lo tienen, if you already got it, just to confirm, leamos el slide. Um, okay, so for example, Madeline doesn't do this. Um, Doris doesn't do that. All right, just to confirm that we got the correct information, 
en dos minutitos los llamo a la meeting, así que solo confirmamos. Just make sure, please. Teacher. Hi. Hello. 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 Esa es la pregunta del millón. <risa> Dele, Gerson. Yo, yo, yo otra vez. <risa> no, no. No, no. Es que, no, es, anyway. es que, es que, está, es que está, tenemos esa controversia porque hablando en la tercera persona, uh -huh. Isaac le dice a Edith, Christian Dosen, uh -huh. Christian Dosen, light nice. walk in the park. Uh -huh. Sí, pero estábamos viendo un ejemplo más, más, más digamos así, she doesn't like fly in the airplane. Uh -huh. no, she doesn't ready fly to airplane. Ah. Uh -huh. Entonces, va, van dos, dos verbos, el like, el, fly. El que escribieron en el oh. grupo, ¿verdad? Oh, ready fly, no. sí, es, es de Edith. Oh, sí. De Edith es, sí. Okay. Eh... <coughs> Vaya, si gustan les comparto mi pantalla. Um, vaya, dícteme el ejemplo, por favor. She doesn't. She doesn't. Ready. Ready. Fly, fly. In the airplane. In the airplane. Ok. Um, ok. So, primero quizás veamos el significado que queremos y cuál es la idea que queremos compartir. La idea que quiere compartir es ella no, es, sí, ella no, está, está, no está lista para, para volar en el, en el, en el avión. Gacha, gacha. Ok, entonces vamos a revisar. How can I explain this? Ok, eh, si me la repite despacito, dice ella no está. Ok, pero no está. ¿Es el verbo? Be. be. Ah, ahí está la cuestión. Entonces, yo con el verbo be no puedo utilizar doesn't. Porque el verbo be tiene su propia forma independiente de negación. She, she isn't ready to fly. Ok, entonces, she isn't ready. ready pero acá ready tenemos, no, sería pero acá fly, sería. No, no, está. no porque revisamos. She isn't ready, hasta acá voy súper bien. Ella no es. O sea, ella no, no lista, lista, vaya, Ajá. ella no está lista. Y ahora quiero decir para volar, lo único que voy a hacer acá para indicar que esta es como una acción, vengo y le pongo el to y estamos súper bien. She isn't ready to fly in an airplane. Pero tengo que utilizar el verbo be primero porque este es un adjetivo. Ready no es un verbo, no podemos usar doesn't. Sí, entonces, pero es que no, no es un verbo, entonces no puedo usar doesn't con adjetivo. Tiene que ser, hay... She doesn't dance, she doesn't read, she doesn't walk. Doesn't va acompañado de un verbo. Y es because, verbo. Be, be, because it's the pres ¿Mm? simple present. No, en general, no. En general el, vaya, lo que sucede, chicos, es esto. Mm, do, el caso de do, el caso de doesn't, ellos se llaman auxiliares. Los mm. auxiliares. Se llaman auxiliares porque son como, no significan nada, pues. <ríe> son auxiliares. Vaya. Más que solo para que se vea solo, buena celebración. No, para, como para darle la idea que pasa algo. Para darle la idea que algo va a ser diferente. Por ejemplo, si usted dice, she doesn't, este doesn't me, me hace la idea que es ya negativo. All right? Me da la, la sensación de negatividad. Pero este no es un verbo. Entonces, por eso decimos que doesn't siempre va acompañado auxiliary and verb. Yeah. Y es porque necesita un verbo, no puede ir solito. Entonces, si usted tiene un adjetivo, one. con un adjetivo no se puede utilizar doesn't. Ah, okay. ¿ya? Es como que le... No, no, don't be sorry, don't be sorry. I mean, es como que yo le diga, por ejemplo, yo, so, yo no soy alguien. Yo, yo no, o sea, que, no, ella, eh, sería que es, la traducción, si le ponen doesn't, sería ella lista, ella lista como que fuera... Ajá, para, no, porque no significa para volar nada. El, no significa nada. Ajá. Exacto, porque los, los auxiliares no significan nada. Solamente... O sea que la regla, la, re, la regla gramatical es que toda ese ready o, o algún sinónimo de este tipo tiene que ir a fuerza con el verbo to be. Y porque todos los adjetivos, adjetivos no son acciones. Todas, ajá. Uh -huh. Cualquier adjetivo calificativo tiene que ir con eh, el verbo to be. 
Esa es como sí. la, la idea general, ¿verdad? No le puedo generalizar porque también hay como otras formas de utilizar los adjetivos, pero si usted me va a decir, por ejemplo, ella no es alta, eh, oh, sí. Por, pero un ejemplo, teacher, que, que uh -huh. teníamos también era, eh, she, eh, habíamos puesto, she doesn't, uh -huh. no sé si le habíamos puesto otro, pero le ven la que me Dímelo, no She doesn't preocupa. like, uh -huh. she doesn't like, oh, one. dance, salsa. Uh -huh. ya no okay. le gusta bailar salsa. Eh, es, ese sí, sí se, se puede. Bien, ¿no? no, ese sí uh -huh. se puede. Pero el, like. la única situación es que tenemos acá dos verbos. Y no podemos tener dos uh -huh. verbos. Entonces hacemos como una transformación del segundo y le agregamos el tú y ya se solucionó el tú. problema. Ah. It doesn't like to dance salsa. Sí, a I mí mean, sí se puede, pero hacemos esto. Dicen. Hacemos eh, entonces, uh -huh. igual entonces... El, igual el listen. Uh -huh. Listen to... Y, Sí, ajá, algo así, algo así, exactly, exactly. Listen to, pero listen porque ya va casado. Dígame, Christian. No, solo una. Entonces, ese el ejemplo de she is already to fly in the airplane no entra en esto, ¿verdad? Mm, no. Es, es negativa, es symbol present, Aunque pero no es con el auxiliar. Present. Es la única como la diferencia, ¿verdad? Pero, pero la versión está bien. She is ready to fly. I mean, no tiene ningún problema gramatical. Solo que no es como con el auxiliar de hacen. But it's good. I mean, it's okay. It's okay. Por el tema. Ajá. Ajá, yeah, por el tema o sea, sí, como la práctica, right? Teacher, o sea, ambos son simple present, ¿verdad? Eso sí es que hay que ser Exacto. claro. Exacto. Ambos son okay. simple present. La única diferencia es que este es verb be y este es con el resto de verbos que utilizan auxiliar. Ajá, es la diferencia. Okay. Y no se mezclan. Okay. <ríe> ah, okay. No sé si los confundí. No sé si a little bit clearer. Sí, sí, o sea, siempre hay un poco de duda porque, digamos, cuando uno hace oraciones con el verbo to be es Is she ready to fly in the airplane? Uh -huh. ah, quizás como que nos pudiéramos uh -huh. sí. hacer un... un, un, un como, ah, mm, quizás no, ¿eh? tener bien, bien claro que las acciones sí es el be. Mm. Y... Pero yo creo que, creo que, que we got a, a confusion there. But recordemos esto. El verbo be significa ser o estar, ¿verdad? Entonces cuando usted dice yo soy, yo estoy, es el verbo be. Eh, lo utilizamos con adjetivos. Adjetivos. Lo usamos con países, countries. Lo usamos con countries. Lo usamos con age, con su edad, right? Uh, general information. Importante. Mm -hmm. General information. So, for example, cuando usted tiene un adjetivo and uh, you say, say, I am happy, I am happy. So, si se fijan, acá tengo un adjetivo, right? How are you today? I'm so happy. I'm very happy. So, yo no puedo decir, eh, por ejemplo, oh, o lo opuesto, ¿verdad? Usamos lo opuesto para que, like, a little clearer. No puedo decir, por ejemplo, I am not happy, I am not angry. Yo no puedo decir, I don't. I mean, esta, I don't combinación, ah. esta combinación no se puede. Y de hecho, si usted lo se lee, puede. si usted lo lee, le va a sonar raro. No sé si le sonó raro. No, eso le sería, yo, yo feliz, yo no, fe, yo, ajá. Pero, porque no significa nada, don. Ajá, no, 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 es no, no claro. No, ajá. We, es yo no feliz, yo no feliz. Ajá. So, incluso si usted lo lee en inglés, I don't happy. Suena raro, you know, it sounds super weird. Porque esto, este es un adjetivo. Entonces el don, por eso es que nosotros decimos en la estructura va subject, verb, oh, sorry, subject, the negative form, that's verb. Him, y luego un verbo. Pero este verbo no es el verbo be, es la única excepción. Uh -huh. Y eso es como okay. solo lo único de recordar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, sí. eh, chicos, lo voy a pulear porque creo que es it's time. Eh, esa es una muy buena pregunta. Let me just make it general por si a alguien también le quedó como la duda, ¿verdad? And, and we can like okay. make more examples. No worries. Mm -hmm. Hold on. <laughs> ok, let's go back.
Hi everyone, uh, welcome back. Thank you so much for, for returning. Solo esperamos eh, un par de compañeros. And uh, in the meantime, eh, estábamos teniendo por ahí una, like, um, a sort of question, let's say, con uno de los grupos. Entonces vamos a, a clarificar un tema que es bien importante. Like how to use, but we are going to have some exercises. Se los voy a escribir acá. I'm going to write them here para que ustedes me ayuden a resolverlos as well. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Logran verlo. Can you see this? En la letra. Yes. No, teacher. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. No les estoy compartiendo mi pantalla. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Obviously no pueden verla. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, logran verla. Can you see this? Yes. Yeah, teacher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, let me write some exercises here. Um, in negative, of course. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. This is capital letter. I don't need capital letter. Give me just one second. I'm gonna write just one more. Okay. Lo que vamos a hacer, vamos a hacer como un pequeño review de la diferencia entre el verbo to be, right? Eh, que las formas del verbo to be son am, is, and are, or auxiliaries, auxiliaries, do. En este caso vamos a trabajar negativos. So this is going to be don't. Y el otro es doesn't. Mm -hmm. Doesn't. Yes, very good. Now let me make this a little bit smaller. So you can take a look at this better. Uh, yeah, this is too big. And the negative for am, um, it's not, is, it's not, o podemos usar isn't, right? So you can use isn't, are, are not, o podemos usar aren't. aren't, exactly. Okay, so what are we going to do right now? Vamos a usar las formas negativas, ya sea don't, doesn't, am not, is not, or are not, para completar estos espacios que ustedes ven acá. All right? Es lo único que vamos a hacer. Completar las oraciones que están acá como usted lo crea adecuado. For example, I, it says here, not interested in music. ¿Qué me hace falta? Eh, bueno, ya le agregué el not. Se lo voy a quitar para evitar any confusion. So, vamos a usar, por ejemplo, I am not, I no. isn't, I aren't, I don't, or I doesn't. Entonces, tenemos que escoger I am not, I don't. ¿Cuál es correcto? All right? Les voy a dar cuatro minutitos. I will give you four minutes no. para que lo completamos. Okay.
Guys, if you have any question, I'm right here. Um, anything that is not clear, I'm right here. Or if you finish, también denme en verbal confirmation. Don't finish para eh, más o menos eh, considerar eh, quién necesita tiempo. If you need one more minute, tell me, teacher, one more minute. So we're super good. Don. Awesome, awesome, thank you. So I got one person. Thank you, thank you very much. So I'll give you like one more minute. Si necesitan más tiempo, let me know, please. Down. Thank you very much for the confirmation. Down. Yes. Okay, thank you, Doris. Is everybody ready? Tom. Mm, I have it. Uh, thank you. Okay, let me see. No he escuchado a Isaac toda la noche. Hi, Isaac. Ready? Sandra, thank you so much for the confirmation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, everybody, so let's go ahead and let's um, share. Okay, let's share answers. Number one, interested in music. So, ¿qué podemos usar? What can we use? Thank you, Silvia, for the confirmation. I am. I am, not I am interested. I am not interested I'm not. in music. I'm, I'm not. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. I'm not interested right. in music. Okay, so I am not. Um, Very good. Number two. I what about not, number two? I'm to, not todas... ready. I am ready. Okay. Vamos a usar las negativas, all right? Hagamos las negativas, please. So, what can I, I do? I don't ready. I not ready. I don't ready. I'm not ready. I, I is... don't ready. I am. Okay. I okay. am very, very I, nice. I'm not thinking going out. Okay. Give me a quick second. Voy a hacer un poquito más. I'm going to make this smaller. And I'm going to make this bigger. Mm. Okay. Vamos a revisar algo. Let's take a look at this really quick. Eh, ¿Cómo utilizamos I am not? ¿Y cómo utilizamos? Uh, how can we use I don't? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre ambos? All right. How do we make the difference between both of them? Después de I am not, vamos a tener por lo general un adjetivo. We are going to have an adjective uh, o vamos a tener algún objeto. All right. I am not. I am not a cat. <laughs> I am not um, bored today. I am not very healthy. So, son adjetivos. ¿Qué tengo después de un don't? I don't y necesito un verbo, ¿ya? Yeah? I don't like, I don't eat, I don't do, I don't... <coughs> perdón, I don't make. So, veamos otra vez. Ready. Ready. ¿Qué es ready? I, I ¿Es un adjetivo? Ready. I am verbo. Ready. Verbo. 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 un favor enorme, super, super big. Vayan a, a su dictionary, vayan a su online dictionary y busquemos la palabra ready. Yeah. Puede ser un traductor. It can be a translator. Y ahí nos dice si es un noun, si es un adjetivo, si es un verbo. Adjetivo. Oh. Okay. Entonces con adjetivos utilizamos. I am not. I'm not. I'm not. Yes, exactly. I'm not ready, teacher. I'm not ready. No estoy lista. Okay. I'm not ready. I'm ready. So, because it is an adjective. Mm -hmm. Next one. Oh. 
think I am not or I don't? I don't. I don't. I don't. Okay, entonces no. estamos de acuerdo. Ok, veamos I otra vez. I don't think going. No, porque hay un verbo y lo que sigue no es un verbo. Ok. Think, no, think, 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 think es, es verbo. Ok, okay veamos okay. esto. Think. Esto obligatoriamente es un verbo. Tiene, tiene que ser un verbo después de don. Pero que pueden haber ah. adjetivos. It can be noun. It can be adverb, etc. Pero entonces veamos. Think. Think es el verbo pensar. Right? Entonces yo yeah. uso. Don't think, don't. I don't think. Yo no pienso que sea una buena idea. I don't think this is a verb. Listen. ¿Es una actividad? ¿Is listen an activity? Listen is verbo. Es un, es, listen. Recordemos que es un verbo. Un verbo es una actividad. Entonces es como, listen, si sí, hago algo, es una actividad. Entonces hay. I don't listen. I don't listen to music. Yeah. Next one. She. What about this one? She is. She isn't. She isn't. She isn't. She isn't. She isn't. She isn't or she doesn't? She isn't. She isn't. She isn't. Todos estamos de acuerdo que isn't? Yes? Okay. So, please, please, girls, boys. Si tienen alguna duda, que por qué, eh, please ask, ok? No, no se queden con la duda. That's super important. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ok, y la última. Like you. He, he doesn't or he isn't like you. Doesn't. Doesn't like you. Uy, eso es bien tricky. Ambas se pueden. Pero lo que queremos decir es que a él no le agrada. Entonces, he doesn't, doesn't, doesn't like you. Exactly. Like, he doesn't like, like you. A él no le agradas. Uh -huh. So this is the one. This is the one that we got. Are we okay with this? ¿Alguien se quedó con dudas que por qué ahí fue? I'm not worried. ¿Por qué fue Dasan? Hello? Teacher. Teacher. She doesn't. No, perdón. She isn't. She, uh -huh, she isn't. Eh, no, she doesn't. Permítame, permítame, permítame. No, no vi quién era. Sorry. I didn't recognize your voice. ¿Quién era? Who was that? Yo, Vero. 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 Ok. ¿En cuál Vero? En. Dicen. Ajá. He. No, she dicen. She is happy with the news. Ajá. Ok. Exactly. Ve, lo que resulta. Eh, porque vamos a seguir esto. Mire, si se fijan. Después de un don, eso lo consideramos un auxiliar porque necesitamos siempre un verbo a la par. Entonces, solo verificamos. Si yo le muestro un espacio como esto y necesito completarlo, por ejemplo, eh, like. No, no es, no es esta, pero wait, hold on, hold on, me estoy moviendo. Okay. So, entonces, reviso. Necesito completarlo acá, necesito algo, pero esta palabra que le sigue... Eh, es una acción, happy es una acción, mm, happy es un no. sentimiento, right? Eh, no. Sentimientos son adjetivos, entonces como es un adjetivo, yo voy a utilizar el verbo be. Incluso en español, en español nosotros decimos, ella no es feliz. Y si usted escucha, ella no es. Entonces es el verbo to be, she isn't happy with the news. No es. Uh -huh. oh. Yeah, so she isn't happy. Dice, Oye, dice, dice, ella no está feliz. Eh, o ella eh, no está feliz. Ella no está feliz, exactly. Uh -huh. Elizabeth, eh, tell me. Dicen, entonces se utiliza cuando son adjetivos y el das en cuanto es verbo. Correcto, siempre y cuando no sea el verbo to be, porque yo tampoco puedo decir, eh, por ejemplo, I don't be. Esto no se puede tampoco. <ríe> siempre que no sea el verbo be, exacto, esa es la regla. Siempre que sea un verbo, vamos a utilizar don't or doesn't. So, um, of course, we are going to continue practicing with this, pero hasta este momento estamos más o menos claros, guys. Eh, milagro, yo creo que le escuché antes, pero no sé si, si tenía una pregunta adicional or, o le respondí la pregunta. Tenía la misma duda que ella. Yeah, yeah. Pero estamos bien. Are we okay so far? Pues me ha dejado más o menos. Ok, 
Yeah, necesitamos practicarlo definitivamente, so no worries. Les voy a compartir un par de, les voy a escribir ejercicios como parte de los que vamos a hacer en, la, en, la, en nuestra plataforma, right? No se preocupen, no worries. Um, guys, the others, ¿estamos bien? Are we good? Yes. yes. So, so. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> So, so. Okay. Good, good, very good, very good, very good. Nice. Remember, it's not a question of practice, right? This is a matter of practice. Okay. Okay, everybody. So, tenemos un ejercicio último. We got like one more exercise to finish. And this is the conversation using how often, all right? So, here we have this part. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation. Pero como yo quiero que ustedes hablen inglés super rápido, you are going to help me with this. Let me see. Aquí no he escuchado. Who haven't I heard today? I haven't heard. Um, mm, 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 mm. Let me take a look. No, volunteers. Let's go with volunteers. Who wants to read it? Who wants to volunteer? Hi. Thank you. Thank you. I need another person. I need two. So me. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. So. Uh, let me see. Doris, you can read the part of John. Uh, can, who said I? Sandra, ¿verdad? No, no Vero. Vero. Vero, le confundo la voz. I don't know why. Uh, ya, ya le dije, Jennifer. I told you now, Sandra. I don't know why I'm confusing your voice. Okay, so Vero, ayúdeme con Anne, please. Help me with Anne. Oh, Presente, yo chat, John. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your client? Client, sorry. Hi, I am often calling once a week on Monday, but I usually call team on Spring or Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all of the time, all the time. You are right. Okay, thank you. Thank you, girls. Very nice job. Very good. Very good. So now, please, everybody, help me repeat. Let's repeat. Try. 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 Once, once a week. Once, once a week. 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 Remember, this is this is like one. Uh -huh. So once. 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 So you are right. You're right. Sí, verdad. Tener razón. You're right. You're right. So you're right. Remember, means tener razón. Because in Spanish, tendemos a veces a, a cambiarlo. And we want to say like, you have the reason, o algo más salvadoreño, latino, you know. But esa es la expresión correcta. You're right. Tener you're razón. Right. Tienes razón. So you're right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, everybody. So, vamos a ir una vez más. Y no, we don't have the time. So, vamos a terminar acá. I just need like four more, uh, two more pairs, two more pairs. Ayúdenos a leerlo, please. Help us read them. And we are going to be finishing with them. Vi la mano de Silvia. Thank you, Silvia. Thank you so much. You can help me with John. Uh, anybody else? Thank sí. you, Christian. Ah, okay, you no are, problem. Okay. You're right. So, you are going to help me with a part of Anne. <laughs> yes, Christian. You're my victim today. You are too quiet today. <laughs> Please help me here. So, Silvia, you can read the part of John, and Christian, you can read the part of Anne. Mm -hmm. Okay. How often do you check your email? 
ever two hours on you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check the order. Do you call clients? Yes, always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it's important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Very nice. Okay, very good reading, guys. Good pronunciation. Thank you. Thank you very much. I need just one more, one more couple to finish today's class. Me. So I need two. Me. Okay, thank you. So I heard me. That was? Me, her son. Okay, thank you. And the second voice? <laughs> I am listening to voices in my head. So <laughs> who is the second person? Um, Madeline, thank you. Very good. Okay, so her son, you can read the part of John. And Madeline, you can help me with Anne. I am John. <laughs> yes, I'm John. <laughs> okay. Teacher, please, can you move the cursor? Uh, okay, nice. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, how often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. I can. Um, and how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call your clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice. Okay. Very good reading, guys. Okay. That was very good. Guys, emojis for them and emojis for the previous group, you know, and the emojis for the other pair. Okay. So uh, you can share emojis. You can uh, remember we don't have like claps, but you can always share your emojis. Okay, everyone. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you for, for joining us. I, I have a question, uh, teacher. Yeah, tell me, Harrison. Pero antes, uh, antes de la question, solamente le doy el aviso dominical, porque yo veo que algunos uh, llevan como, I am going, I'm living. So give me one minute. Eh, chicos, necesito que me ayuden con la plataforma, porfa, que me ayuden a completar la unidad número uno, si todavía no la han terminado. Eh, de ser posible, el día de ahora, eso no les va a consumir mucho tiempo. Eh, sí, necesito que me ayuden a terminarla, please. No, creo que es más acuerdo. Tomaría unos 10 minutos, I think. Dígame, Madeline. Yo estaba bloqueada y no he hecho ningún ejercicio de toda la semana. Hoy me desbloquearon. ¿Hasta cuándo tengo para terminar todo? Déjeme confirmar, porque creería que nos piden el reporte. Ya lo escribo, solo déjeme eh, confirmar eh, cuándo eh, tenemos. Es, esa era mi ahora. pregunta, teacher. O sea, estaba que, bloqueada. ¿Hasta cuándo teníamos para...? Y yes, a mí me bloquearon, no sé, por la contraseña. Hoy fue cuando te digo, en el corporativo y hasta hoy me desbloquearon. Vaya, déjeme, déjeme confirmarle eh, por la situación, ¿verdad? Y porque los chicos están como pendientes y, y saben lo que sucede. Sí, lo que sucede es que cuando usted digita la contraseña, no sé si tiene dos o tres intentos y si no, la cuenta se bloquea. Entonces, como tengamos un poquito de, de cuidadito con eso, yo le confirmo un par de minutos. Eh, los demás sí, por favor, me ayudan hasta ahora. ¿eh? Tenemos hasta, hasta ahora. Sí, esa era, esa era mi pregunta, teacher. Esa era mi pregunta que se acuerdo teníamos porque, eh, bueno, solo son, han sido cuatro días de, de clase, ¿verdad? Entonces, yes. ¿Y están hablando de las homework? Estamos hablando yes. de las que le parecen como tareas. Y yes, eh, no del foro, ¿verdad? Sino que bueno, las que parecen como tareas. El foro tenemos un poquito de, de, de tiempo. Claro, lo más recomendable es hacerlo todos los días. Pero sí, porfa, las que dicen tarea. 
Eh, yo igual les voy a estar comentando si, si alguien me, me está pendiente todavía, ahí lo voy a estar molestando que me ayuden, por favor, con las tareas. Pero si me lo pueden terminar okay. ahora, les agradecería enormemente. Eh, yo sé, Gerson, que, que han sido cuatro días, pero tenemos como alineamientos diferentes de Insofor. Así que intentamos aprender. Ya, ajá, ya, ajá, cabal. Yo, nosotros, sí. yo pensé, ¿verdad? Yo pensé que era mañana hasta las 10 de la mañana. Por eso le preguntaba. Uh -huh. Sí, ahora. Nos okay. dicen que es ahora. Por favor. Pues no, ahora okay. se desvela y las hace, por favor. Pero, pero, pero son... No. Ay. Mira, no, pero lo, lo, lo que pasa es no, que... No, pero una película se queda no, hasta medianoche. Sí. Eso quería Gerson, que le dijera milagro, con amor. Con, con cariño, amor, pelazo, con cariño. Gerson. Mirá, milagro. Ya. Con cariño, Gerson. Mirá, me la, me la voy a guardar esta, me la voy a guardar. En el fondo de tu Ay, corazón. No. Con amenazas, no, qué cruel. Gracias a todos por, por ayudarnos con eso. Gerson, perdón, antes que me vaya, díganme cuál es la pregunta. Si Esa no, era la pregunta. Ah, Esa okay. era la pregunta. O sea, sí. Tú no quieres hacer las tareas hoy. Gran, gran poder para preguntar lo mismo. Vale, le leí la mente entonces. Sí, sí chicos, eh, les agradezco gracias. enormemente por el apoyo. Nos vemos hasta el lunes. Disfruten su fin de semana. Bye. 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 Bye.